While the Ravonia trial was taking place in South Africa in 63 and 64, I was in the United States for some of the time, partly going down to Jackson, Mississippi and Birmingham, Alabama, and finding out what was happening there in the civil rights struggle. And at the time when things looked very, very dark in the Ravonia trial, and it seemed clear that the men could be sentenced to death, that they certainly were likely to be found guilty, I was asked at the United Nations to speak about them, to tell about their lives, partly out of having known Mandela and Sisulu and slightly known Kathrada and Govan Mbeki, but also because I'd written the history of the African Congress by then, to speak before a United Nations committee about them. And then also I saw people in Washington um, lobbying, really, to say how these men must not be sentenced to death. And I saw some of the Negro leaders at the time, Martin Luther King and A. Philip Randolph, and Andy Young I saw down in Birmingham. But I think in those days, the black leadership was much too preoccupied with its own great needs and the urgency of things within America.